Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video is just a little short one and a little tips and tricks what I did for a new isolator for the hood. Now if you ever did aftermarket fenders, usually the metal thicker than what the factory metal was. And the problem is, is that the factory little isolator here is designed for a certain thickness of metal. Now in order to get around that, so I use this little guy right there, and all it is is a cheap little isolator mount that I picked off of Amazon or eBay. You know, get them in a pack of five for like a couple dollars. Cut it in half, and then sanded it down on my belt sander. To get it smoother. You drill a hole through. The unfortunate part is, is that you're gonna have to drill the bottom piece out of the hump here so you can get a socket in there to tighten it up. Now there's a few ways that you can do this. You can drill right through and then bolt it up like I did on that side. Or you can just drill through the top and put a nut rivet in it, but nut rivet really isn't your friend because there's no way that you can really tighten this up besides spin it on by hand. And by chance, if you ever have to remove it in the future, odds are it might be kind of a headache. So that's why I'm just going to drill right through it and be done with it. And of course, you got to drill a bigger hole. Remember to anti-seize it up, just in case you want to take it off in the future, drop it in place. And tight, and it looks pretty darn good too. Well, I'm going to end this ultra short video here. Tips and tricks of what to do for new hood isolator on your Jeep TJ. I think that worked great. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty impressed on how that turned out. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I want to thank you guys for watching.